So I'm back here. We got um, the SIM card situation taken care of. And uh, now we're looking for an ATM machine. And having trouble. And we're having some issues with that. And then we're gonna go uh, meet with a barber for some hair duty, hair cuts. Hit the town. Hit the town after that. Yeah, no, this is nice, man. A comer. It's a nice neighborhood. Oh, I need to take the temperature right there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is nice, man. All right. So I step right here and then I stand right here. Wow. And then these things basically. Okay. Okay, thank you. Wow. So I've never seen that machine before. You see, guys, I'm here at the Sheraton here in El Salvador. They have that machine that takes both your temperature and just disinfects all your clothes. Man, that is amazing. I've never seen that before. All right. Welcome to El Salvador. Hello, YouTube. It's uh, Ivan here. I'm broadcasting today from the city of uh, San Salvador in El Salvador. So I just checked in uh, a couple of things. Um, there's like absolutely no taxis at the airport. It was kind of strange. I didn't know exactly where to get one from. So I actually followed someone who escorted me to a location where, um, you know, a taxi driver, you know, picked me up in this in this big van. And, um, you know, it's dark. So I, you know, I was just following the, you know, <laughs> this is a Salvador. Like it's a place that has a, you know, somewhat of a reputation, right? So I wasn't really sure where we were going, but we, we got here at the Sheraton. So uh, I'm quite impressed. It was about $30 for a 45 minutes ride. Okay, so I'm here at the Sheraton Hotel. I believe it's the only one here in, um, in um, San Salvador. And I'm gonna meet tonight one of my icons. Um, his name is Philly Dom. And been following the guy for a while. So it's my first day, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm excited to meet him. Is El Salvador really as dangerous as people say it is? Or is it just another one of those things that the media does not portray accurately? Um, how is the food? How are the people, right? These are some of the things that I'm curious about and I'm gonna try to answer them during my stay here. So guys, we're here at the mall. What's the name of this mall? Multiplaza. Multiplaza, Multiplaza. 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 I'm here with Philly Don. Yes, indeed, I'm right here. <laughs> Welcome to El Salvador, man. We're gonna walk around. We gotta do a, run a couple errands a day. I'm out with my boy right now, man. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna do our thing. All right. Yes, yeah, so all right. How long you been in the city, though? Uh, I've been here, I wanna say, like two months off and on. Okay. Over maybe two, three months, because I've been going to Belize for a couple weeks. Yeah. El Salvador for like a month. Belize for a couple weeks. El Salvador for a couple weeks. Back and forth, back and forth, okay, back and forth. forth. Okay. Yeah, I'm really trying to help them out, man, with their tourism here, man. El Salvador really gets a bad name in the news. And, you yeah. know, they got their problems like any other place in the world. Right. But it's not as it, bad as people not, It's say. not as bad as they, they make it. And every place has its yang and its yang, its good and its bad. Right. So, obviously, they have some nice places. that like you see, we in this mall. It's a beautiful mall. It's, it's normal, like a place you would see in the United States or Canada or Europe. So, it's no difference. Right. Yeah, no, guys, it's it's very very nice out here. I, yeah. I I'm actually impressed, and there's a lot of security. You feel safe here. I didn't see anything bad at all. You know, the roads are nice. You know, it's like a normal city. Yeah. You know, but for some reason, even though I travel a lot, this is not what I pictured in my head. <laughs> you know, because yeah. people talk about you know just gang violence and like I actually never heard anything positive about El Salvador. You know, but they tell me not to come, so here I am. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 
it, when I was when I first came here a couple years back, I was floored because this is not what the news shows you. That's right. They show you the most poorest, run-down neighborhood, and and all out of Salvador they pick. They never show you this. this no, no, this is a this normal is, place. You know, the normal mall, just like you would see anywhere else. You know, so. And to be honest with you, some people might get mad with me a little bit. That mall's a little bit more developed than <laughs> Columbia. I don't know. You've been to Columbia. What yeah. do you think so far I, I think from so. the town? I think so, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it's, 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 it's a different type of vibe here, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to walk around. We got to take care of a couple things. I know you got to get the SIM, SIM card. SIM card, yeah. And then I got to get some shirts so I can look good tonight. All right. All right. Yeah, some of the bars here don't yeah. want to give us Wi-Fi, so it's yeah. better to we have, a SIM, have a SIM card to move around. Uh, but Uber is extremely cheap. It costs like two dollars yes. to go from one place to another. Was it was he crazy. You couldn't believe it. Crazy. You couldn't believe it at all. Yeah. And um, not only is two dollars, they take the U.S. dollar. That's the currency here. Wow. Something else I did not know. Yeah, the so. U.S. currency is here. That's their currency. They stopped their money what in 2000? 2001. 2001. 2001. 2001. Yeah. Dolly is a historical historian. She knows everything. Nice. Uh, yeah, so you have the US dollar, and the second thing they use is bitcoins. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So. That's a new currency they're using. Yeah. Um, they like the. Um, El Salvador, I would say they like the. I want to say test dummy, but they're the testers for it right now. Because no, it's never been done anywhere. That's right. So it's going to be a lot of kinks, and it's going to be a lot of problems with it. But, I mean, they're getting it together, and they're trying. They're trying. That's right. They're definitely trying, but it's yeah. going to be a lot of problems with it right now. Because anytime you're trying something new that's never been done before, on a bit on a grand scale yeah that's going to be problems that's right you see just like a normal place you know yeah. so if you're scared to come to el salvador don't be you not scary you know there's normal people and an another thing uh, that i want to say is um it's very very easy you know to get from one place to another here yeah they got the uber very, yeah uber they have uber they have taxis yeah it's not that expensive last night we was hanging out we went to like some upscale places a little bit more expensive the night when we go to like the dollar bars yeah they like a dollar for the dollar 50 for the drink dollar 50 yeah. everything yeah. shots everything wow you don't have to pay to get in but certain we went to the upscale upscale spot so that's why you were getting taxed last night yeah but tonight you know it, it'll be a little see the vibe will be a little different that's right yeah. And English is more spoken here than in Colombia, also. Oh yeah, definitely. You find more people that yeah. speak English here, which was surprising to me. Oh yeah, yeah. He speaks better English than I do. <laughs> more than I am. <laughs> I'm just a hustler, so I make stuff happen. I'm about to put you on something else that you didn't even know. You're not even in El Salvador, San Salvador, right now. Oh really? It's a town. It's just another city right next to San Salvador. Called Antigua Cristalán, that's where we at right now. Oh, uh, Antigua Cristalán. Yeah, that's where okay. we at right now. All right. They got three malls, back to back. All back big to back. malls like this. Okay. Boom, boom. And it's not even the best mall. You were filming the other night in this uh -huh. area that you said it was like, it has a bad reputation at nighttime. And you were walking yeah. around. What's that neighborhood? Downtown. 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 Um, okay. Downtown um, uh, San Salvador. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It has a bad reputation. A lot of people from this area, if you tell them you're going down there, they won't go. Yeah, oh, she wow. only go because I go. She <laughs> wouldn't go because... Or they're going to tell you not to go. Yeah. <laughs> and then my friends that was here, shout out to Jeremy and Jeff from the Philadelphia area. They came down, they wanted to go there at night. So we went. So we didn't have no problems. Wow. But, it's been known that that's been a bad area. So they got more security. They, uh, what else did they do to look that place on that side? More security. They opened more. up like more restaurants, coffee shops. Uh -huh. Because before there was nothing really to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you can go, you can see the places, the historical buildings, you yeah. can take pictures. And then if you want to have some coffee or uh -huh. uh, a couple of drinks yeah. or something to eat, uh -huh. you can actually do it too. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And they have like street vendors that are uh, selling handmade items or things like that. Yeah. You can also buy a couple of things there. Like his friends, they bought like Sado or Sado team mm -hmm. t-shirts. The guy was selling them on the street. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So they have street vendors selling uh, like earrings, uh, bracelets, things like that. Nice. Yeah, they're going a lot. 
Nice. So I think we're going to go get the chip, the chip right now. So guys, you got, you know, all the knife store, Victoria's Secret, you know, all the standard stuff, you know? Yeah. And the prices are, like in this mall, the prices are like very similar to the state. You think you'll come here and be like, I'm in El Salvador, it'll be a little cheaper. Like for the wealthy El Salvadorians and people that can afford this, the tourists and whoever else can afford this, it's, it's on the same price as the U.S. Today you'll be with me when I buy like two shirts or yeah. three shirts that he will help me pick out. And she'll tell you it's, uh, it's American prices. Yeah. From the States, like. Wow. They don't bend on the prices. Yeah. Like a little thin car situation will be cheap here. Yeah. But as far as like clothes, shoes, whatever you say. Uh, technological items. Everything. Yeah. U.S. prices. US, US prices. prices. Okay. So I'm back here. We got um, the SIM card situation taken care of. And uh, now we're looking for an ATM machine and having trouble. And we're having some issues with that. And then we're gonna go uh, meet with a barber, haircuts. Like a, hit the town. Hit the town after that. So this is the food court, guys. Just so you have an idea what it looks like. You know, basically the same chains that you find in the United States. You know? Pizza Hut, Mexican Grill, Pollo Campero. You know, Taco Bell, Subway. You know, this is this is little America. It's the same, you know, same of the major chains. Burger King over there, Chuck E. Cheese. So it's great to have, uh, you know, people that can show you around when you come to a new country like this. <laughs> Other than, otherwise, you don't even know where to start. You know? Yeah. You don't even know where to go first. That's right. Completely lost. Most people that told me not to come here never been here. Yeah, they never been here, so they don't even know. This is, that I don't know. It's not that bad. No. It's um, the only way to know a country is to go to that country. 